Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back along to the Farm Manager Blogs. I am John, as always, and we're going to be taking you through a few different things today. Uh, we're waiting for an arrival, actually. Uh, there's a few new bits of equipment here. Uh, well, one on the yard right now, at least. Uh, this is not ours again. This is the second demonstrator that we've got. We got rid of the class action the other day. Had that for a few days. That's uh, a beautiful bit of equipment, actually. Very, very nice indeed. And this is the 924 Vario Fent. Uh, and again, so far at least, a lovely, lovely tractor. We haven't got it into the field yet. I am going to be taking that one to the plow in a little bit. But yeah, very impressive all I've seen of that so far. Uh, right now on the yard there, we are doing a little bit of field work here. Derek is out in the uh, in the quad track. He's finished off the drill. And Annabelle is out in my uh, 724 doing a little bit of uh, field work. And as Beefy is drilling cover crops with the discs. So we're all getting a lot of work done, which is good. Uh, there's going to be a change up though today. We're going to be seeing the end of the this fleet of combines. We're trading in our new Hollands. They are going. Uh, they've We've had them on the yard for quite some time now. Uh, but they're gone. We've made a significant change. It's a big, expensive investment there. But uh, we did, felt like we didn't need two anymore. Um, and that some of our fields were warranting that we could get a bigger header in there as well. And I think I've just seen it coming. Uh, brace yourself. Um, would you look at the size of that? We have gone green, everybody. We have finally left New Holland. Uh, it's been a big decision. It's been something that's been coming for a while. But we've chosen to go for the class. This is the class Lexin. Uh, and this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful combine. The 8900 series. It is a beast. Uh, slightly uh, smaller header than the two outputs uh, that we have there already. But there it is. What a machine. Wow, just stunning, and there's our header to go with it as well, and there it is, the class 1230 Combio header, uh, which is huge, we've got two 750 or 7.5 meter headers on the New Hollands there, so we're a little bit under the output of those two, but we've got a faster machine in, as a whole there, so we'll be easily able to outmatch it, but the main attraction here. It's just frankly stunning, to be honest. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so yeah, we decided to make that change up there. Class have moved into the the region, and they're uh, well, they're producing a fantastic looking machine, and uh, we can able to get the support now. We have the output, the header, the acreage to to warrant getting a little bit of a bigger machine, and yeah, it's going to be a great output for us there, and it's going to be a big boost. So now that we uh, uh, now that we do have this, we're going to be, I think, be either myself or. Uh, Derek was driving one of the combines, but it's probably going to be myself driving this one now, I should imagine. Uh, but yeah, it's just I can't wait to have a bit of a look around it. Uh, we'll get the delivery team to kind of move everything around a bit. There's a wagon coming this afternoon to start taking the combines away, because uh, obviously that is they're going somewhere else. They're going to be sold, I do believe. Uh, so yeah, let's get this all kind of buttoned up and tied up a little bit, and then we'll get the. Uh, Get the old girls moved out, I think. And okay, so folks, here we have it. It is well, kind of—it's huge, really. Uh, not quite sure where we put the header trailer. It's gonna have to go into that shed somehow. It's not the easiest thing to get in either, but uh, we're not used to having uh, like a dolly header trailer. But we'll figure that one out when we need to. Uh, right now, though, let's go have a look at the the main event here, shall we? Uh, beautiful looking Lexin. It really, really is. Now this. This is all a little bit foreign to what we're used to. Um, I'm sure a lot of the controls are very similar, but yeah, it is a, a brand new thrust. We haven't had class on the farm before, so uh, it's a significant kind of culture change really for us here, but we'll figure that one out. Uh, and yeah, it's just a beautiful, very, very nice piece of equipment. Um, I'll have a quick on here. Oh, there we go. Hand grip does feel very ergonomic, very nice indeed. Uh, but no, this is very nice. Now we will be... The great thing about this as well, it does allow us to easily uh, up our output as well there. Uh, so we can definitely get onwards to two, two and a half thousand acres when the opportunity arises. Uh, which we may well be doing actually, we'll look to uh, cross that bridge somewhere down the line if the opportunity arises there for us to get some more land. So. That's uh, definitely something that I'd like to have an idea about. 
Uh, and yeah, so we have the, the output to keep up with it with our two trailers, our grain chaser bin and also our uh, bulker. So that'd be good. Uh, and yeah, it's just time to say goodbye to these guys, really. So what we're going to do, uh, first of all, is this pull out and pull out one of the headers. I think it's... Where's my... I think it's actually this one I want, which is the... Actually, no, let's take that one. If I remember rightly the way I put this in, this one I'm picking up now belongs to the nearest... Uh, the nearest combine. Oh, look at that. I need it. Like I said, we did trade these both in there, so, I mean, the, don't get me wrong, that class is uh, it's an expensive investment for sure, but selling two combines into one does definitely uh, does soften the blow a little bit there. There. Fantastic. All right, and we'll get this out of the way. So we're going to pull our combine out. We're just going to—they're going to take combine and header trailer away at the same time. Uh, so we'll get that one all pulled out, and set up. Then we're going to just jump into that fen. We're going to, go and do a spot of plowing, I think, uh, to see how it pulls. Um, we've got some ground that we need to turn over. It's not a particularly big field, but we'll get it done anyway, and then. Uh, just really want to test it. It's going to go into the drill after that. We'll have a good time with it on the horse. See how it pulls that drill. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm favoring the fence anyway, purely because we have such a good lineup of fence here and they've never ceased to uh, to go wrong for us at this time. So, you know, why change it? Something that isn't broken, really. Uh, As you can see, these combines, are they've had a good run. Uh, the one in the corner there is older still. That one's with the wheels on. The tractor version came a little bit after because some of our ground does get a bit wet. And what I would say is since moving two tracks there, um, made it very, very difficult to ever think about going to a, a combine without tracks on, to be honest. Uh, let's see how that's going. Am I anywhere near? Too far um, a foot forward. Yeah, having tracks on this is so much better, really, for everything. Yeah, excellent. And this one is going to be out. And that's number one done. And so I do believe they're going to be here fairly soon for that. Um, they know what they're doing, though. I don't need to leave them any instructions. They're just going to pick it up and stick it onto the truck and get it out of here. So we'll, uh, we'll leave it about that. Not a bad looking combine. This one here has about two and a half thousand hours uh, and about the drum hours are a little higher than that as well. A little lower than that, sorry. Uh, and the other one's got a few more, it's about 3,000. Uh, so they've been worked very hard. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is going to be a totally different beast and I'm really looking forward to see what that looks like. Uh, so what we'll do right now though is we're going to go and take out our fence. So this, like I said, is a 924 Vario. Um, we will be replacing the quad track, whether or not it's with this. I don't know if we go for the 924 or perhaps maybe the uh, the biggest sister, something like the 1046, might be a little bit better in terms of the power. That being said, that being said, this is uh, what's this? Just over 400 horsepower, 420, I think. So it's not too far off the quad track. It's much lighter, uh, grip-wise. We get as much grip really because we do have the adjustable um, tire pressure in here. Uh, and yeah, and it's a fence. And like I say, we love our fence here. I'm very proud, uh, happy with how the fence are working. Uh, and we get good support for them. And yeah, and my operator is like a good fence, so there's no real need for me to want to change that. This one sounds beautiful, really, really does. Uh, now this is the, um, the prototype for this came out not so long ago, about uh, maybe six months ago. Uh, and there are a few of these knocking around the, the south of the country right now. I don't know how many of them there are up here. I haven't seen any yet. I know there's a few 1050s knocking around, so this is like the next step down. 
but what this will give me a good chance to do is ha have a bit of a play of it before we give it to Derek on the drill. Uh, and then also be able to just get it onto the road, really, see how it goes. Because what we do want to do is, the reason we're looking at different tracks like this is because we want to use it more across all of the... Uh, oh, listen to that power. We want to be able to use it uh, across more work than just heavy cultivation work. The, the quad track is good when you get it into the field, but there's a lot of work you have to do outside of the field uh, that you just can't do with it. It's just um, impractical, really. So this kind of ticks that box as well. You can, if you really need to, stick a trailer on this uh, and it will be fine. Um, well, yes, it's a big vehicle, but you could still get away with doing anything like that. I mean, it's a, there's a lot of weight in it, but boy, does it accelerate. Lord, it's such a smooth ride as well. Really, really nice. I do love the road mode on a fence with the Vario box set. Just press one of the uh, orange uh, buttons down there, the farthest one away from me, the top right. Uh, that just clicks it straight into pedal mode, and we're away. Uh, all my speed is comfort uh, controlled through the uh, through the accelerator. Going. That was some pretty harsh braking as well. And around we go. Take it nice and easy. Ah, oh, little brake test there was quite something. Watch that wall. One. So how you been anyway? I hope everyone is doing well. We have been cracking along nicely with our drilling. Uh, we've got pretty much all of it done that I wanted to get done this week with the barley. Uh, so, okay, so let's get ourselves in. So this is the field we're going to come into. We're just going to plow it over. This one hasn't been plowed over for a while. It's starting to, we're going to kind of reset the field because we had some Contractors in, well, some uh, potato harvest growers in there recently uh, as a bit of a break crop. Uh, it hasn't been quite right since, so we're just going to plow it over, start again, uh, and get that back on track. Get into a field here. Perfect. So, how have you been? What's been going on for you this week? I hope you had a good week, whatever you do. And do let me know down below uh, what's been kicking along there and how it's all how your week's panning out uh, so far with the spring value work there we've had a great little uh, run of it uh, doing really well being able to get everything that I wanted done done and uh, yeah we've probably, we, by the end of today we'll have it all finished up this is not going into spring barley this is probably going to go into uh, cover crop uh, which usually I wouldn't plow over but there's some some of the uh, it's a little bit compacted there so we're going to try and break through the pan a little bit get it plowed through and see how that one looks for us uh, take it from there and like I say perfect opportunity for me to get into the get that rolled over at least get this fed test now we've got this for a few days so we'll stick it onto a drill as well just to thoroughly thoroughly test it through but yeah I'm looking forward to see how this goes we're going to start with our ends here though and uh See what we can get done. All uh, right, off we go. Always a sign of that. I love the fence. You just click it into gear, and they always just pull off without the uh, faintest sound of a struggle. Engine note never changes. Us. We could probably get a few more furrows on the plow. I like to keep it uh, this size because we don't do a lot of plowing, but it means that we can change around which vehicle it's on. But this is pulling it like it's not even there. It's a bit ridiculous, really. Okay. Mm. 
Oh, there's the train again. Okay, we'll get ourselves in and get this edge all squared away so we can actually get started properly. And then we'll be good to go. Alrighty then, so we're just going to keep plugging our way through this field. Uh, we want to get this done, like I say, then we're going to work down, get some form of cover crop onto here. And then that's almost, almost going to be us done with our, uh, with our spring drilling, if you can believe. It didn't take us long to get ahead of it, uh, but then we did have three drills on the go for the longest time, so hey, that might be why. Uh, and we were able to yeah, get about uh, 350 acres done all in, so... That's very handy indeed, great work by the team, and we can focus on getting our, some of our machines swapped around. We're getting our sprayer back in the next few days as well, uh, which is going to be good. Uh, last year we did change up our, our sprayer approach uh, to try something for a year or two. And we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll discuss that as well in the, in the next episode, I think. But we'll leave it here for now, so thank you ever so much for watching. I have been John, your farm manager. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you've yet to do so, as always, don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and join Simulation for the Nation. And we will uh, be in touch and get you uh, up to date over the next uh, week or so. Um, and we'll have a bit more of a look at that class. The new Holland Combine should be out of here and will be ready and set up for the future, which is going to be exciting. Uh, until next time, though, thank you ever so much for watching. I've been John, and we will see you all in the next one. Catch you later.